First off, I want to do a quick thank you to our recent subscribers and those who have hit that notification bell. It shows and we certainly appreciate it. Now let's get to the alleged performance benchmarks from the AMD Radeon RX 6800 XT or Big Navi graphics cards that have leaked out. Now the numbers come from an AMD AIB partner who has mentioned to us that the performance metrics are based on early engineering board samples and that they could further improve by the time the card launches. The benchmarks for the AMD Radeon RX 6800 XT Big Navi GPU graphics card we were shown include 3D Mark Firestrike Ultra at 4K, Time Spy Extreme, which is 4K, and Port Royal Default, which is again also 4K. Now graphics performance charts that we happen to take a look at show the Radeon RX 6000 series Big Navi GPU graphics card being referred to as E438. Now the graphics card was compared to the GeForce RTX 3080 and the GeForce RTX 2080 Ti graphics cards from Nvidia. No specifications were mentioned, but the performance numbers are up on the screen now. The alleged Radeon RX 6800 XT graphics card scores 12,781 points in 3D Mark Firestrike Ultra at 4K resolution, for comparison, the GeForce RTX 3080 scores 10,531 points, while the GeForce RTX 2080 Ti scores 8,210 points. The card is 22% faster here than the RTX 3080 and 56% faster than the GeForce RTX 2080 Ti. Now moving to 3 Mark Time Spy Extreme at 4K resolution, the AMD Radeon RX 6800 XT is set to deliver a score of 8,230 points and the GeForce RTX 3080 used for comparison is 7,978, while the GeForce RTX 2080 Ti scored 6,933 points. As per the benchmark, the Radeon RX 6800 XT seems to be around 3% faster than the RTX 3080 and 19% faster in time spy than the RTX 2080 Ti. Now, in addition to our scores, Kitty Yuko, formerly known as Kitty Corgi over on Twitter, has posted his own benchmarks for the AMD Radeon RX 6800 XT, which have been compiled by Twitter fellow Harukaze5719. And the chart is on screen now. Note, however, that the performance metrics posted by Harukaze are based on the graphics score alone. And finally, there's 3D Mark Port Royal, which was tested at the default 4K resolution, and the Radeon RX 6800 XT scored 4,387 points, while the RTX 3080 and RTX 2080 Ti scored 5,351 and 4,241 points, respectively. The AMD Radeon RX 6800 XT Big Navi GPU turned out to be slightly slower than the competitor in this ray tracing specific benchmark, with the RTX 3080 getting around 22% lead over the Radeon RX 6800 XT did manage to deliver slightly better performance than the RTX 2080 Ti, which was the flagship ray tracing card of the previous generation. Now it's likely that the ray tracing performance may not be fully optimized yet in current drivers and we could expect better performance in the final drivers when the card ships out to consumers and reviewers. Now AMD will be officially unveiling the RX 6000 series graphics card family on October 28th. Now make sure you join us for a live stream, but while we roll out for the weekend, we'd love to ask you, are you more excited for the big RDNA 2 cards or are you actually more interested in the smaller Navi 22 lineup coming later? And for more on this and other news, follow the link in the description and make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that we don't miss you in the next one.